What's up, everybody? Susanna Collins alongside Stephen Keel and Andrew Wiebe. A big day in MLS. After months of rumors, we can finally announce Zlatan Ibrahimovic is coming to MLS. He signs with the LA Galaxy, a two-year, $3 million deal. You guys, this is massive in every sense of the word. And this is not a DP signing, you guys. This is all about Tam. Andrew Wiebe, why is this uh, good? Tam has brought us the <laughs> ultimate player we never thought that it would come in this form. Victor Vasquez was great on Tam. He's not Zlatan. <laughs> Only Zlatan is Zlatan. What a signing. You said months. It's probably been years mm -hmm. we've been waiting for this. But the Galaxy have a real coup here. Because to get him to come at a price tag that allows him to buy them down with Tam and not spend a DP slot, which, by the way, they don't have, that is one of the best pieces of MLS business I've seen in a long, long time. It's a game changer for their team. Mm -hmm. It's a game changer yeah. for the league. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, please let him be healthy. <laughs> please let him be at his best, because if he is, it's going to be so fun. Oh, exactly. God. And you speak about, you know, what Chris Klein and Jovan Karofsky did off the field. But I'm worried about, not worried about, but I'm excited for on the field. Listen, this is a once-in-a-generation type player. Yeah. The guy has won everywhere. Mm -hmm. He's scored everywhere. He, Thierry Henry said he is, for him, one of the five best players, strikers, in history, mm -hmm. of all of history, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So quality on the field. You said excited, you also said worried. And that's because the LA Galaxy have to find a way to fit him in. Yeah, exactly, Absolutely. exactly. Uh, I mean, and this is the thing, you guys. They're, I just want to address the haters real quick because I know they're going to be out there saying that this is a very stereotypical MLS move, the retirement league, all of that nonsense, okay? This is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, any team who had the option of signing this guy would have done it. So bravo to the Galaxy for getting it done. This is huge. So shout out the haters. I like that. Listen, I, love that. I, I, I just let, let, let's bring it because clearly I'm I'm pumped about this. Um, so let's talk about Ziggy Schmidt for a second because this is a guy now who all of a sudden has a lot of thinking to do, especially when he's looking at that lineup because somebody is going to have to sit out. You're gonna, Zlatan is gonna play. Let's be honest, yeah, he's there, absolutely. he is gonna play. So, so who is the odd man out here? You already sent this offseason 400K in allocation in Jesse's artist to Columbus Crossy for what we thought was your number nine. We thought the guy to lead the line in mm -hmm. Ola Kamara, and he's been good so far. And Ola's gotta be sitting there thinking, hmm, what just happened? Did I just <laughs> yeah. lose my spot? Right. I know who Zlatan is. Right. I mm -hmm. understand that I probably wouldn't play over him. Personally, Steven, I think I get both on the field. I just think that that means it's a tough decision coming, and maybe that means Giovanni Dos Santos doesn't start for this team, or maybe he's got to earn it on the wing. I don't know. Absolutely. So for, I agree. You got to have Ola on the field sometime. He's got. You got to have someone to stretch that defense to be able to, you know, put fear and don't get behind the back four. But I think we, you know, sometimes we always want to make a big deal about when everyone's healthy or the whole group is there. But I feel like that's those games are far and few between between mm -hmm. suspensions, international duty, and guys just being healthy. Like you don't always have your you know full selection. So it's also MLS now. Yeah. It's not a point where it's like, oh, these are our eleven. That's only guys that are playing. If we right. have them, they're playing. Now you have competition. I just do think that Zoltan likes to drop. We know that. He wants to drop in, and so then he's taking up some space that Giovanni wants to do. And be. I think you can kind of almost look at you know his previous club, Manchester United, where it was him and Romelu Lukaku. They look they look excuse me, Lukaku up front. Yeah. And Zlatan off of him. So I think they could do a similar type thing with Olo up front, stretching that line, like I said, and uh, Zlatan in behind him. All right, so we're talking about how he fits in on the field. Um, there's also a question of when you bring a guy into a club who has this big personality, and he's a star, he is a legitimate star, what does that do for the locker room? Is it... Uh, is there a potential problem there, or is it is it a good thing? Will it tie everything together? So I played with a, a fellow by the name of uh, Thierry Henry. Yes, we who, know him. He's all right. <laughs> he's, yeah, he was okay at soccer. He was okay at soccer. And I tell you, for when he came in the locker room, he controlled that locker room. Mm -hmm. So when he was on a, in a good mood, positive, we had some of the best training sessions I've ever been a part of. He was helping coach. He was a coach on the field. It didn't matter what position you played. He was you know, helping me play center back. He was helping the goalies play. Tactically, technically, the guy was a different level, and he just raised the level uh -huh. in the locker room and on the field. Yep. He scores goals, Lawton does, but he also wins everywhere he goes. And I feel like when he walks in there, he's not trying to end his career with a last in MLS performance like the Galaxy had last year. He's trying to raise that level, and he's demanding that that level be raised. And I think that's a good thing for a club that needs a little urgency. Not that they didn't already mm -hmm. feel it, but now they have that extra jolt. The flip side of Zlatan, though, is 
he has played at a lot of clubs. He's been all over the world, and that's because he sometimes wears out his welcome. But I think at the end of his career, perhaps, we don't even know. I mean, good Lord, that guy could play for another five <laughs> years if he wanted to, probably. He's going to walk in there and say, I'm making my mark in MLS. Get behind me, guys. Get with me. Let's do that as a group. Let's go win MLS Cup. Race to Sace. Let's get number six. Well, a conversation that we have all had is that MLS, there seems to be a lack of characters in MLS. We're always wanting more characters. Well, guess what? Zlatan is a character. Los Angeles. Welcome to Zlatan. He is not only a big guy, but he's just got this big, big personality. Outside. His, his yes. Instagram, you oh. guys. It's ridiculous. I cannot wait to see what he's posting from L.A. because I have a feeling Zlatan and L.A. is a match made in heaven. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I was wrestling the devil, arm wrestling the yeah, devil on I, Instagram like yesterday. You're and very I feel like he jocks my style on that angelic. one. You're angelic. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, but look, I, he has a gra he's like a gravitas, a magnetism yeah. to him. No matter where he is, no matter what he's doing, you can't help but look. And I'm waiting for that moment, that iconic moment, after a goal, <laughs> after a big win in the first El Trapico LA Derby. He's going to steal the spotlight, and he's going to do it in a way that's unique to only him. Right. And I actually hope that in L.A. he finds a way to get in show business, too. Ooh. Can we get him on Curb Your Enthusiasm? Oh, Can we get him on G. <laughs> something, please? The Zlatan cameo on Curb yes. would just be the best thing ever. I, ever. I, Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. But I think <laughs> you talk about, like, always people want him to produce on the yeah. field, and he always delivers. People always want something big and bigger than life off the field and he produces. So coming to LA will be no different. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine the posts that we're gonna see oh, out of him, I, the quotes we're gonna get out of him after a game. It's gonna be, it's gonna uh, be the best. Oh, come on, I know, right? Like, right, right, hey, let's bring go, it. Bring let's it. go. Bring it. Uh, so for those of you that watch This Week in MLS, love you, thank you, high five, this guy right here. I'll get the call up someday. Yeah, I'll, someday listen, I'll get the call. You're right no, there, I you're I right there, Weedy. I know I will. Uh, but we've started doing this new segment on the show called Flow Show. Ooh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. your hair, um, it's like my favorite topic ever, and uh, it has to be said, Zlatan has got some pretty solid soccer here. Mm -hmm. The flow, the ponytail, what do we think? If we compare him to like, say, Rolf Felcher, yeah. his wow. future teammate, what do we think? Who who we give him the show? Yeah, that team is all over it. Right. But Graham Zusi gets rid of the man bun. Don't even bun. don't talk to me about that. Right. Does Lawson come soon. straight in MLS with the man bun? Does he take the long hair, bun so. it up, put it up high? Make yeah. It's make, hot. He's make, versatile though. Make He's versatile. man buns great it's again. It's hot in LA. It's gonna be warm. Make man keep, buns yeah. great again. Big man. Yeah. Without Zusi gone. Yeah. No. We need, Does we he need inherit the best man bun in MLS? He's going to have to, and I think he will. I think he's up to the challenge. Um, okay, guys, next question. How many goals wow. are we going to see from Mr. Zlatan Ibrahimovic in MLS? I feel like any prediction I make is probably too low. And I'll, I'll just, I'm going to say 14. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say 14 goals because he's yeah. getting here a little bit late. Uh -huh. We're not exactly sure what his health is like, what his fitness is like. What we do know is if he gets in the box and he has service, the man's gonna put in the back of that. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely clinical. So I say 14. And I'm gonna do the prices right where I go one above, oh, one dollar more, oh. one dollar more. I'm gonna say 15 uh -huh. on a whim. I do think he's gonna hit double digits in goals, and I do think he's gonna hit double digits in assists. I feel like he, we always know him for being a goal scorer, but I feel like, especially now, a little bit later in his career, he's gonna be able to set him up. Alessandrini, Ola, Kamar. maybe Gio dos Santos too. I mean, hopefully Gio dos Santos, because by the way, I said maybe bench him, but I want to see the best right. from Gio dos of Santos course. as well. Like He's that. such a good player. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going 18. Oh, yeah, I'm going oh, for 18. it. I'm all in this year. I am all in. How, how, much, time. how many of those in El Trafico though? Oh, man, Against oh, LAFC, oh. perfect timing, oh, right? He's, he's, hat, he's doing a hat trick. Yeah, I'm telling you, right the, now. The first game's coming up, and he signs. <laughs> LA Galaxy. Dropping like, knowledge hey, bombs. I heard about coming. this new team, but do they have slots? Oh, I don't think they do. They do. No. Guys, so much to be excited about. We are so excited. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. For more in this story, keep it tuned in to MLSsoccer.com. We'll see you real soon.